Hey agents, I've decided to make a series of videos explaining exotic gear and weapons in The Division 2. These will not be build videos in any way, I'll just be explaining exotics, hoping to help any players who are unclear of exactly how they work. Finally, I'll be rating them for both PvE and PvP. As usual, no BS, so let's get right to it. In this first video, I'm going to look at the Coyote Mask. This is a great piece for crit builds, no matter your weapon type, especially in group play. It gives you and your teammates a buff whenever you shoot an enemy. There are three buffs you can get and they are dependent on how far you are from the last enemy you shot. First off, if you are within 15 meters of the last enemy you shot, you and your teammates will get 25% crit damage. Even if your teammates are further than 15 meters from the enemy, they will still get the 25% crit damage as long as you're within 15 meters. The next buff is 10% crit damage and 10% crit chance. To get this one, you need to be between 15 and 25 meters of the last enemy you shot. And finally, when you're more than 25 meters away, everybody gets 25% crit chance. If you have more than one coyote mask in your squad, the buffs can stack. However, you can only get one of each buff. So that's one 25% crit damage buff, one 10 and 10 buff, and one 25% crit chance buff for a total of 35% crit damage and 35% crit chance. Of course, you'll all need to be shooting the same target at different distances, so it's not something you should rely on. One of the perks of running a coyote mask is not needing to push your build to 60% crit chance. With ARs and rifles, naturally you want to keep distance from your enemy. So you can run about 50% crit chance on your build and the buffs will get you to 60%. For SMGs and shotguns, you want to make sure you're already at 60% crit chance to maximize the 25% crit damage you get within 15 meters. To get this mask, your best bet is to run the Jefferson Trade Center mission on challenging or heroic. The boss has a good chance of dropping it. If RNG is, well, being RNG, then run any other content with masks as the target loot. Higher difficulties will increase the drop chance, but it's never a guarantee. My rating for the Coyote Mask for both PvE and PvP is 5 stars. It's part of several meta builds, has ideal stats for a DPS build, and gives strong buffs to not only the user, but their entire team as well. And that's it for the first video of this series. I hope it was helpful. Next time I'll be breaking down the busy little bee. Until then, happy farming agents.